Well, here is an interesting fan. This is a Polar Wind 18 inch pedestal fan. I bought this in October of last year from the Volunteers of America West Thrift Store in Lansing for, I think, like $4.60 some cents. It's an odd fan. Um, I have not cleaned it ever since I got it, as I've just been using it down here in the workshop. But I decided I'm going to clean it up today. Um, I'll do a before video. It is an odd fan. As you can see, it's got these really 80s looking labels down here. And these buttons. That sound very tactile. I just realized that this piece of duct tape on the back shows my last name. So we'll go ahead and uh, peel that off. Anyways, it's an odd fan. Here's the back. Made in February of 2007. Model number HFS45X. Actually, it says 8 of 01 there. What's interesting about it is that this is its shortest height right here. It leans. I'll go ahead and I'll raise it up to its tallest height, which is kind of crazy. So here it is at its full height. It doesn't look that crazy, but look how tall this thing is. For reference, um, here I am next to it at its full height. <laughs> and I'm five foot five. So, you know, this thing, I can't even get it in the frame, is a very tall fan. <laughs> um, although it doesn't really tilt up like that, it's kind of broken. I'll go ahead and I'll run it starting. That's up. Starting on high. It's not super powerful. But then again, it's really dusty. Here's medium. And yeah, there's the logo. It's got an older Polar Wind logo, and here's. Let's make it oscillate. It kind of leans as you can see. Ooh, it's struggling. Let's see if it changes motor pitch when it goes when it oscillates back. Oh, it does. We'll go back up to high. Let's see if it slows down. It kind of jerks in its oscillating motion. Oh yeah, it does. I'll stop it. And we'll do a spin down. So there you go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and work on it here in the laundry sink, and I'll come back to you guys when it's done being cleaned. There it is with nothing on it, and I'm also going to apply some t some glue to this because this label kind of comes right off. I'm not going to peel it the rest of the way because I want to have it on in the right spot. So I'm going to fix that. I'm also going to try and tighten the base so it doesn't swivel. I guess you could probably just bend it. Oh yeah, that works. So yeah, let's wash it up. That's now cleaner. I sort of got that to stick, and I cleaned that base. So now we got to put the back grills on. Now to put the blades on. Lastly, the front grill. Notice anything missing? That's right. Now it's sitting evenly and strapped in on both sides so it doesn't rattle. Here it is, the finished product. As you can see, it looks much more presentable now. Um, blades are so much cleaner than they were before. There's actually still filth on the back grate, but I got it as clean as I could get it without an actual dishwasher. Hopefully in our next house I'll do a Spats and Harley, or I'll pull a Spats and have a dishwasher in the basement that runs cold water. Let's check it out. Oh, and it's blowing water. Look at that. Oh yeah, and I fixed the screws on that so it sits flat pretty much. Nice. I'm going to let it run a little bit while I clean up just to get any last water out of the blades but yeah we now have the polar wind 
18-inch pedestal fan. This is Isaac saying, signing out.